Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this spectacular day. Oh, what is a spectacular day today? Today is Mother's Day. I'm going to give a little shout out to all moms out there going through the struggle and taking care of your kids. And also, happy Mother's Day to my mom. Great mom going through everything to make me who I am today. But anyways, what's the day today up to like? I'm working. You know the drill. It's a Sunday. We got to work it up. But hey, later on today, I'm going to go to my mom's. Yeah, Well, I'm not going to her place, but we're going out. I'm going to take her out for a nice dinner. But what am I doing today? I'm actually here early, really, really early, extra early today at my shop. Why? Because I got a couple of things I got to do before opening up because, you know, last week I was at the uh, Barry Game Swap. So yesterday I came early, set up. I didn't finish. So I got to finish up today before, heck, we open up because I don't want to look busy, busy, dirty, dirty, all unorganized. You know what I mean? Anyways, let me get to that and I'll be back. Well, actually, I'll be back after the after I clean up all this, but you guys will see it in three, two, one. Here we go. This is what I was talking about when I said I had a lot of reorganizing to do. There's the comic section. Oh, I got more comics, don't worry, but these are the better wall books. Like, you see that? First, uh, Black Suits. First, first, uh, first Black Suit, like uh, Alien Syndrome, the, the first Marvel crossover. We have the first appearance of uh, Spider Woman. Some, some very nice uh, Marvel Tales uh, team ups. The Hulk, and some very nice. If you like the, and then the Funko Pops used to be up here. We moved them down here, and we kind of you see how the and then the cups, the glass. I had to reorganize all that. And then here are the uh, Nintendo tapes. Yeah, the Nintendo tapes that I was talking about right here. You see stack, stacks, stacks, and stacks. Uh, if we want to know correctly, my stack, Gabe's stack, and then this is the divider. And then we have all this here. And I decided to change it up here. Cartridge-based Nintendo this base Nintendo and then we got the Sony section I filled it up completely if you notice the light on here the LED has blown out I need to replace the LED but oh well we got the PS2 PS3 PSP PS1 and PS2 heavies are up here like look at that like look at some of the beautiful beauties on PS2 we got here MV MVC2 Silent Hill Dark Alliance, Dark Cloud 2, Def Jam, and look at that. The granddaddy of them all, sorry. The granddaddy of them all. Right there. And then over here, I kind of reorganized my Transformers because I had those somewhere here. They weren't doing so well as far as displaying-wise, so I moved them in here because they work better because the Transformers are all at the bottom. And then I got some new Marvel Legend figures in, which is always good because Marvel Legend figures always sell loose or box. They sell. And then that's still the same. I just picked up a score right now, a nice little lot of games. I'm putting them away right now, but if you want no what I can quickly show off what I got. So let me just quick you know what let me just quickly pull them out because I am organizing them right now. Let me pull them out before I put them in the showcase here. Is this just a few games in here that's not part of the, the lot I picked up. So let me just quickly go through it. Here we go. Is this everything? Oh. oh. There it is. Here we go. Okay. So let's go through it all right now. Advanced D&D, Pool of Radiance. We got Baseball Simulator. Double Dragon 2. Dragon Warrior. Final Fantasy. Jeopardy. Oh, geez, Jeopardy, not in that, sorry. Uh, Jeopardy from someone else. Legend of Zelda, Mega Man 4, you all know if it was Mega Man 5, Robin Hood, Star Tropics, Exodus Ultima, 
and Wizardry the Master series. That's everything I picked up. It's my regular uh, seller. He comes in every time he finds games. He knows he's he always gives me fair prices, and he knows I always take his deals because he's fair with me. I'm fair with him, and he's always asks me what consoles are popular. So he goes out looks for me specifically. So yeah, I got that sweet deal. Lots of lots of good RPGs and platformers in there. So right now I'm just gonna organize all this, and then we'll be right back after these messages. Gotta have a discussion all together. Now, you know how to typically you want some of you guys out there understand how things work, how things don't work, business, not business, uh, deal, no deal, friends, no friends, you know that kind of deal. Uh, this guy walks in. I gotta have a discussion with you guys out there. This guy comes in. He's telling me one of these books. Um, my comic books, right? This guy's telling me straight up. He's like, oh, uh, could you give me a deal? Because I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to put it on my wall. In my head, I'm like, dude, I'm not going to say to him, because if you're a comic collector, you know, every time you open and read your book, you're taking value away. If you want to read, you get a reader's copy, which is under a 4.0, a 3.5 grade, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Now... Yeah. Sorry about that, just had to just had a customer come by. Anyways, I was saying, so you know when you want to read a comic, your issues will be below a 4 grade, right? Well, typically 4 and under is what you can, would consider it. Now, this guy straight up tells me, well, your books are, are, are very poor, like, ungradable. I'm like, why? What's your opinion behind it? Because a staple is not, not centered. Okay, if I send it to CGC, they're going to give me a 8. They're going to give me a 7.58. Everything else is nice, correct? Well, there's a blemish there. I go, okay, cool. That's where I'm going to get a 7.58. That's what this is. That's what I'm pricing it at. I know my books. And then this guy's like, well, I'll, and then this guy insultingly comes to me and says, $25. I will, and I'm like, no, dude, no, no. And then he goes, okay, whatever. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Comes back and says, there's a store, Gotham Central. Exact same fucking response Carlos gives. And he tells me, oh, well, Carlos told me he buys these books at $25. I'm like, okay, so what if he buys them at $25? That doesn't mean he's going to sell it to you for $25. It means he has to sell it for $60 to make up for cost and employee. Minimum. Minimum. Right? So, and the book I'm talking about is The Incredible Hulk... Uh, 340. That one's a pretty good shape. Now, I've already, I know my research, I do my research before even purchasing. I, I go through the price guides, and then I go through my comic shop, New Kida, Metro Comics. I go through all of them as well, just to compete, to make sure, am I doing right? And I don't convert U.S. to Canadian. I don't. I just leave it at the U.S. price I see. So that means I'm doing well. Now, now, granted, obviously, this guy came back a few times, kept saying, you have to, you have to. I'm like, no, I don't have to. Goodbye. And the guy, and what's his response? Good luck trying to sell anything. You'll be out of business. I'm like, whatever, dude. Straight up. If you're nice to business owners, I'll give you this tip. From owner to viewers to all you collectors, all you shop goers, retail goers, you guys want to don't want to hunt and you just want to go straight to retail stores i'll give you guys a tip this is even me i do this i buy retail stores too but i ha make friends right because i know the deal is a deal you know what i mean now even at swaps conventions you name it if you're friends if you make friends with the owner and converse and enjoy the time and make friends be friendly with them and always come back they will give you a deal. If you're an ass, the owner's going to be an ass right back. And then you're going to say, oh, this guy's an asshole. Don't buy from him. Then the next person who he said will come over and be like, well, I'll do this. 
And then you'll be like, what's wrong with that guy? Because he did this and this and this. And then they go, well, I guess my friend or the person I know said this. You know what I mean? Make friends and we'll give you deals. Hey, check this out right here. We're stuck on the side of the road. Hey, at least here's one thing I'll say. It's not too bad because, well, I'm not meeting my mom anytime soon, so... We know what the problem is. The problem is the uh, antifreeze apparently ran low. Uh, I don't... I don't know if my dad took the car for check or service or anything, but I know he did take it to a buddy of his because he had to get the, uh, the tire changed and the oil changed. That was about, what, uh, about a month ago? Probably, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic or anything. I do body work. Personally, I know all about body work, painting, uh, prepping, and all that stuff. I know enough about how to change an oil. I know how the, I know things like um, spark plugs, battery changes, but I don't know like the interior and shit. So I don't know how to check when your antifreeze is low, but apparently as we were driving, um, yeah, by the way, we got it open. Um, we poured the antifreeze coolant in. There was only like a quarter of it and we needed more. Here's one thing I'll say. Uh, the light came on and then all of a sudden as the light, the light came on, we're like, okay, we can make it home. Nope. The car went from cool to hot in like five seconds after the light came out. So we're like, gas station right there, just pull into the side of the street. So we pulled in right here and then, yeah, that's what we did. Anyways, it's not that bad. You just pour in the antifreeze, you wait 10 minutes, and then on the way you go. Also on the drive, on the way here, there was a bad accident uh, with a motorcycle and a car. Motorcycle completely, whole front, missing, gone. Helmet, visor, gone, on the ground, and jacket off. I don't know what happened to the motorcyclist. Car, front, has a big bump in it too, so they really hit each other hard, but we're doing this anyways. If I am late, sorry mom, sorry. I'm here now, I came, like I said, I was coming to dinner. If you, the earlier clip, you saw the little issue that went down with the car. I didn't, end up, I didn't end up being late. I actually ended up being earlier than them because they got stuck on a highway traffic. So I was lucky. Anyways, but I'm here for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank so, you, my son. Yeah, thank you for bringing me here. Tell them where we are. Name we the place. are at Baha'i Restaurant, Indian now. Hold on, be specific. North Indian. North Indian Cafe. Yes. We're hoping they have some vegan dishes. Apparently they called. Which seems like they, they called and they said there's vegan. a few. Yeah. So we will see what they have and we'll let you know. Well, you'll you'll see our food. Yes, you will. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm happy it's Mother's Day. They should have one some on Mother's Day. No. Why not? It would be nice. No. Wait. Yeah, there's Mother's Day, there's Father's Day, there's Grandpa Grandpa Day. Okay. So you can't have all of them. You gotta split it up. Well, yeah, but once in one mother says good. Yes. Okay. Anyways, uh, we'll check the menu and we'll get back to you. But we ordered food. We're waiting for food. So while we're waiting for the food to come, um, I don't know the names of what I ordered, but I asked my stepdad because he's he knows all the Indian food because he's Indian. He knows it, and he told me I'll like this, I'll like that. So I said, okay, let's do it. And she did the exact same thing, and because he knows what we would like based on his, because that's his culture, and he knows. So while we're waiting, uh, I'm gonna play a little game here because since it's Mother's Day, I'm gonna give my mom some questions regarding my first, and she and as she's gonna give me her response as a mother, like how she felt as a mother, like. Like, you know, you'll get along as we go. You'll understand, cause I, cause we kind of, I kind of explained it and she understood it. So uh, let's go. First question. These will be mixed order. No, no order of age. Just mixed. First time I ever drove a car. And what car? What car did I drive though? That I don't remember. Was it Anuja's car or your car? It was my car. Anuja. The Mazda Tribute? No, 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 no. Oh, on your own or on the lap? 
Both. Okay, on the lab, the first time you drove a car, you were seven year old, you were grade two, you were going grade two, and you drove my uh, two door black Dodge. The first car I bought in Canada. That was when you yes. driving from. And I'm actually parking. looking for that car to actually, because it's kind of a. They, the thing um yeah I, I'm looking for that car yeah, that without, was, with yeah he was on the lap because he couldn't reach the gas so we had to press the gas he was just driving a car like a captain and what about the first time I drove up on my own uh, I think you were driving the Mazda Tribute still your car it's still my car and at some point also he went instead of going through to the garage he went a little left to the garage so the mirror kind of cracked not Luck, too bad. luckily not I too bad. luckily I was I was at a body shop in high school we fixed it at no yes. charge it's yes. just yes. the hundred dollars came out of my pocket for paying for breaking the mirror yes that was the first time. Okay, All right. What other? Um, here's another another one. Uh, fir first first time I ever grabbed food with my bare hands. Okay, that was when you were first time learned how to sit, which was around ten months old. So both sitting and eating was at the same time. Yes, and your grandma, which is my mom, put a plate full of rice and few pieces of tomato, and you reached grab a tomato and you put it you instead of putting it inside your mouth it was like falling down and you didn't actually you were trying to figure out how you can actually push it in your mouth but you tried and finally you grabbed the tomato and that was the first thing you had on your own with your hands a piece of tomato is that why I love tomatoes yeah, that would because you like vegetables maybe mm -hmm. yes so, so that was the first time. you didn't teach me how to eat. Grandma taught me to eat. Yes, your grandma was very uh, practical. So she thought that's the way baby needs to start eating on their own with their hands and getting messy, but try to eat themselves hmm. instead of feeding it all the time with a spoon. Hmm. Okay, uh, first first time I went to school, like the very first day I went to school, whether daycare, preschool, whatever it was. The first day you went to school was you went to daycare and you were only three year old. So kind of like a preschool kind of thing? It was a preschool daycare and I had to go to school because we came to Canada and I have to attend the school. Um, so the first time I left him, he was crying. He was crying because the first time he was basically, I would leave him somewhere is that ever isn't that almost every kid first day maybe maybe but you were quiet I could say a uh, drama so but did I you, had to did you, you cry too no but I had anxiety I had like all, all day at the class I didn't feel like when I came back to pick you up which was earlier than usual I had to pick you about three I picked you about two you were in the office on the they, they put a little carpet in the office and you were sitting there and you were like acting like <laughs> and then as soon as you saw me you start from again loud and the principal said you were crying all day and they couldn't keep you in the class so that's why you were promoted to the office manager there <laughs> until I got there so is that is that where where my days of 24 7 in the office started Sure. That wasn't 24/7. It was from 8:30 to 2 o'clock. I know, but I know um, from 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 9 to 16, I was in the principal's office every day. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, show me. You should know that you both you and Daddy both got phone calls every day saying your son is not behaving. No, so, no, not every day. Maybe once in a blue. No, oh no, I day. remember every day. But maybe they didn't call. But it was. But I keep calling. Okay. But I kept going. So is that why? Maybe. Was that the start? I don't know why that's why. Okay. okay. You know what? The food is almost here, so we're gonna go with two more questions. Two more. <laughs> um, the one, the first, the very first time I um, injured myself really bad. Like it could be a cut, a scrape, a bump, a bruise, or or a kitchen accident, or falling, or something. First time that happened in front of you. 
just in front of in front of you and my reaction and how you reacted to the first time that that injury happened. Okay. Well, um, I think that I don't remember. I don't really remember. I was it was. So was it a baby or was I, I think older? You were, no, you were older than being a baby. Toddler I, or toddler. So three, four. I would say when you're toddler because you were very high pep, but I don't really remember exactly when and what. You don't? No. What kind of a mother is that? A good mother. Second question. That's not a good mother not remembering their kid's first inju major injury. Well, because probably it was a major. I'm asking for major. I didn't ask for minor. I don't remember. So it wasn't a major. So you didn't have major accident. Let's put it that way. Thank God. Okay. Final question here. Um, the first time I got into serious trouble, it could be with the law, it could be with school, it could be with with friends or anything, your reaction to it. Not what you told me, how you felt, like your feeling inside, how did you feel about that? Because I know I've been, as a, as a young kid, I've been in trouble a few times. Yeah, well, I think the very first time that I really scared was the time that you had a friend older than you and we were living in a condominium in Richmond Hill. Uh, he was, he was, I'd say, a little bit of trouble. So he would, he would take you places that you could get in trouble and I wasn't happy and I would get the call. Not a lot, but once or twice, which made me very scared as a mother. That, uh, but you realize and you stop seeing that friend. I think that was that probably because you and daddy both tell me not to hang out with that person? For sure, for sure. Because usually parents influence their, their kids choice on friends for sure. before they get turn adult. For sure. We, I'm sure we advised you and the good thing is you listen so you didn't get in a major, major trouble. Hmm. Our food is coming, yeah. so. so what's your overall rating of, of me as your son? Uh, what? Zero to ten? Yeah, ten zero is, to ten. Ten is the best zero. Ten is, is, ten is the son you always wanted. Zero is the son you never wanted. Oh, okay. Eleven? That wasn't on the scale. So, be honest. So we went above. I know, scale. but be honest. Ten plus? Okay. <laughs> okay. By the way, the food's here. Here's our order. We got for starters, which... These, this one started already eating before filming it because she's a loves okra. So do I. I love okra. So that's okra, crispy okra, and they put chips on the side. Kind of new. Uh, we got over here. This man's over here. Ordered Punjabi chickpeas, and he got uh, what, what is that bread again? Chapati. I also got a chapati too because I got lentil balls and I dip, I rip and dip my chapati in, into here. Well, into my plate. And then, and then my mom's just having one piece of samosa, which samosa with chickpeas. Samosa with chickpeas. Bon appetit. It's currently the next day. Uh, kind of passed out last night. But anyways, I'm gonna keep the day rolling a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, cause hey. Why not? I kind of passed out. I didn't kind of end the vlog. So why not? Let's add a little bit of today into yesterday. So when I upload today, you're going to get a little bit of today. Not a lot, just a little bit. But up my brand new pair of glasses check these out they're gucci glasses right here i needed new glasses because my old glasses i put them away but my hold on, my new glasses they're better because the old ones the frame was about to fall apart and also the lens the coating was coming off and it was all scribbly so i needed to pick them up and they're pretty sweet now that I picked them up since we're in the area uh, for anyone who knows the Young and Finch area. Um, I'm here with my dad because my dad 
uh, had to uh, come here as well. So I'm like, why not? Uh, he wants to go to this bookstore here. There's this new book that just came out. He wants, he can't seem to find it anywhere else. So he knows a guy here. He might be able to, I don't know. Hey, and while we're there, since I like books too, I'll check out some books too. I am now home. I'm going to grab my lunch, and then after that, I got to sit, edit, upload the vlogs and all that. So anyways, you know, the drill, smash that thumbs up button. Shine that thumbs up button real nice. It's very nice. It's a nice one, huh? You know, you got to make that like button feel real liked. Shining it by shining it up and smashing the crap out of it. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to turn on the notifications. Anyways, as always, enjoy life, keep on collecting, and we'll see y'all back for another video. And also, keep your ears peeled because, like I said, um, the second podcast, it's in the works, almost there. We're right now at 80% likely to be a second podcast for the Marvel DC, sci-fi, the worlds you love anyways. Till next time for another video.